Dr. Martin Luther King was a true inspiration. The March on Washington was a powerful platform for him to, him to talk about his message of unity and of hope for the future. I was 10 years old and I remember watching television and seeing this incredibly powerful march and in particular Dr. Martin Luther King's words about I have a dream, talking about his four little kids and hoping that one day they would be judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin. It was very powerful. I didn't really understand the gravity of the march and its profound impact until I went to college. I took my first Asian American studies class and it was then that I learned about racially discriminatory laws of this country, about inequality and efforts to change it all. It made such an, a profound impact on me that I changed everything that I was doing and decided that I had to get involved in the movement for social justice. I learned about the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. It was a bill that prevented Chinese Americans from becoming naturalized citizens and from voting, and it lasted for 60 long years. In this country, there are only two groups to whom there was this legalized form of second-class citizenship imposed upon them, and it was African Americans, and it was Chinese Americans. The civil rights movement uh, that was started by the March on Washington had a profound impact on other movements in this country. The women's movement for equality came soon thereafter. I also saw movements for Latino equality, and in particular, of course, I was involved with Asian American movements for equality. And in fact, it was in 1981 that uh, a man named Vincent Chin in Detroit, uh, two unemployed white auto workers bashed his head in because they blamed him for them losing their job. But what was even worse was that the judge let them off with no jail time and a $3,000 fine because he said that they would otherwise not have done such a thing. It was that murder that sparked this whole movement amongst Asian Americans to fight for equality and justice. It really woke people up um, when they saw what happened to Vincent Chin and the fact that there was absolutely no justice. Uh, after that, there were groups that formed, that fought hate crimes, that uh, worked for affirmative action, that worked for um, social uh, services for the community. It was the beginning of a long march towards equality in this country. I am so fortunate to be chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus. We work together very closely with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus and the Congressional Black Caucus. We call ourselves the Tri Caucus. The Tri Caucus has worked together on immigration reform. We work to support each other's issues. I believe that our voices will be heard by America and that we will get immigration reform in this country because it's the only way to make this country move forward. It is so important to have leaders, leaders who will say that it can be done. That's what Martin Luther King represented. And Martin Luther King spawned many other Martin Luther Kings, younger people who could learn from his example and also be leaders. So we have to make sure that we continuously develop our young people so that they can be the organizers, the speech makers, they can be the ones elected to office so that they can pass laws that will benefit our communities.